everybody, my name is E.B. Zaboy, and today we'll be talking all about Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a cultural celebration that starts on December 26th, the day after Christmas, and ends on January 1st, New Year's Day. Kwanzaa was first created in 1966 by a man named Maulena Karenga. He was part of the US organization, which was part of the civil rights movement. And during the civil rights movement, young people were coming together to fight racism and oppression and overall social injustice. And when they did that, they wanted to also celebrate the history and culture of those who came before them. Kwanzaa includes seven principles in the Swahili language. The first principle is umoja, which means unity. The second principle is kuji chakulia, which means self-determination. The third principle is ujima, which means collective work and responsibility. The next one is ujama, which means cooperative economics. Nia means purpose. Kuumba, the sixth principle, means creativity, and Imani, the last and seventh principle, means faith. Here I have a Kwanzaa table, and in my home every year on December 26th, we set up our table, starting with African print or Ankara fabric, and this lets us know that Kwanzaa and what we are about to celebrate and put on this table basically comes from the African continent or what we remember or what we want to hold on to from the African continent and its traditions. So African fabric, and then we have a mat here, and then we have the candle holder called the Kinara. And my candle holder or Kinara has the word Kwanzaa on it. And Kwanzaa means first fruit or first harvest. There are seven candles in the Kinara in the colors red, black and green. Red means the blood of our people. Black means the skin of our people and green means the land of our people. Another important thing on our Kwanzaa table is the basket or bowl of fruit behind my book here. And we have the bowl of fruit or vegetables to represent the first harvest, which is what Kwanzaa means. The next important thing is the unity cup. And this is where you have some water to pour into a plant. And this is called libation, where we honor our ancestors and those who came before us. And usually we name them and it's grandparents who have passed away or family members or ancestors whose names we know or don't know. The next thing on the Kwanzaa table are the three ears of corn or the ears of corn, which is the Muhindi. The Muhindi are supposed to represent the children of the family. And I have three kids in my family, three teenagers, and each ear of corn represents each child. Another important thing on the Kwanzaa table is our Zawadi, which means gifts. On each day of Kwanzaa, the children receive a Zawadi the adults too, and zawadi or gifts are supposed to be handmade or something that comes from the heart and soul to represent what that person means to us. These are some of the most important things uh, as part of our Kwanzaa celebration, and I hope you learned something new, and I hope you can apply the seven principles to each day of the year. Kwanzaa doesn't all, only have to be celebrated during Kwanzaa. The Nguza Saba, or the seven principles, can be celebrated throughout the year. Habari Gani, which means what's the news, and the response is usually the day of Kwanzaa. So on December 26th, the day of Emoja, if someone asks you, Habari Gani, which means what's the news, you respond with the principle of the day. So on December 26th, Umoja. So let's try it. Habari Gani, Umoja. Happy Kwanzaa, everyone. <laughs>